Guys, so uh, today uh, let's talk about uh, another IMO problem. Uh, this basically is still the same using the uh, proof of a method of infinite descent. Uh, so if you haven't uh, seen the uh, uh, my list video, uh, I suggest that maybe you uh, see the first uh, first one or first two, and then uh, see the previous one, uh, so that uh, you will not uh, so that you can understand what I'm talking. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, there are many IMO problems. Uh, like people like to ask about uh, using uh, the infinite descent. Okay, so today uh, let's solve this one. So this one says the x are positive integers, and uh, we hope to prove that uh, x if uh, if x y divides x squared plus y squared plus one, and uh, you 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 must prove you need to prove that uh, their their results must be three. Okay. Okay, so the proof idea is that uh, so let's quickly uh, see the idea. So idea is that uh, you need to uh, you need to prove by contradiction, right? So you you first need to sh assume that. Uh, okay, maybe okay. So maybe, maybe let's start. So maybe let's say define notation that x squared plus y squared plus one divided by uh, plus one divided x y equal k. Okay, and then let's consider uh the pairs. Okay, so let's consider all the pairs. Uh, let's consider a set omega, uh, which uh, I would like to write x plus y, uh, such that x, y are uh, all positive integers, satisfy this condition, and uh, they also satisfy to be k. Okay, so this is uh, the usual step. Okay, so uh, notice that the omega is a uh, omega is non-empty, right? And the omega is a subset of positive integer. So uh, there is a minimum. So there is a minimum. Uh, so I pick, I pick, I pick x y, uh, which is exactly the minimum such that uh, x plus y. So I pick x y such that uh, it satisfies this property, and x plus y are all the minimum. I are in the minimum in a, in this omega. Okay, and uh, and uh, now uh, I claim. So I claim. Okay, so let's see. Uh, this is a uh, step one. Okay. So let's go to a step step two. So step two is I claim the minimality. So uh, when you reach the minimum, that you must have uh, x equals to y. Okay. So uh, this is the claim I hope to prove. Okay. So let's assume that if if somebody proved that x must equals to y, then you must have x squared plus x squared plus one divided by x squared plus x squared, right? So let's see. So if if somebody tell you that uh, if somebody already proved that x must equals to y, then uh, what you have is that uh, then what you have is x squared divides two x squared plus one, and the least will implies that uh, so six x squared already divides two x squared, right? So this means the x squared divide uh, must be a, a factor of one, right? But x is positive, so x must be one, <laughs> and uh, y is one, so you will get a number. But you will get the answer is a three, right? Okay. So basically, if somebody can prove that uh, when you reach a minimum, then you must have x equals to y, then uh, you will uh, get a, you will prove it. Okay. So now, I, now, now I need to show this is true, right? So the idea is that proved by contradiction. So I assume. I I assume no, right? I assume no. So that means uh, x greater than y. So I can assume then. Uh, uh, x is larger than y. Okay, so now the, uh, this comes from the uh, same technique. So we start from this, right? So I, I can, uh, I can pick, I can say uh, that uh, x be t. Right? So let's see, x is t. So that uh, we have k equals t squared plus y squared plus one divided by uh, t y. So we get t squared plus y squared plus one minus k t y equals zero. Right? So this is a quadratic equation. So use so we need to uh, view this as a quadratic equation of t. So that's right as a t squared minus kyt plus y, y squared plus one. Okay, so uh, we solve our, so we already know the first equation is x. Uh, sorry, the first solution is x, right? Because our assumption is that x satisfies this property. Uh, what is the second uh, second uh, results, right? Se second solution. So second solution, let's denote T2, right? So second solution, sum of the second solution must be KY, right? So the second solution may be KY minus X. 
Okay, and also uh, the two roots product will be y squared divided by by one. So T two has two expression. One is K y minus x. One is a y squared plus one divided by x. Okay, so this is the same as the previous video. If you have not it, then uh, you can you should go to. Okay. Okay, so uh, the remaining right. So finally, the remaining. I just type three right. The remaining is to show. So since we are, we need to prove a contradiction, right? And so our assumption is that x plus y is a minimum. So if somebody can prove that t two less than x, then it's already enough. The remains to show t two less than x, right? If but if t two less than x, then t two plus y will less than x plus y, which violate the minimality of uh, what we assume. Okay. So the remaining goal is to prove that t two uh minus uh less than x, and the t two is an integer, right? So t two is already an integer, and the t two is positive. So the remaining is to show t two uh, less than x. Okay, and let's see uh, why uh, t two is less than x. Okay, so the reason is trivial, right? The reason is trivial. I think that t two has this expression. So in order to prove t two less than x, is if and only if you prove that the y squared plus one uh, less than x squared. But my assumption is what? My assumption is that x greater than y. So x squared minus one, x squared minus y squared must greater than one. Okay. So this is true. Okay. So once you prove, uh, once you prove that uh, t two less than x, then uh, this violates the minimality, right? So you can go back to the. So that means our assumption is not correct. So that means uh, in, once you reach the minimality, then x must equals to y. Okay. And uh, so if x equals to y, then your assumption tells you x squared must divide. Uh, two x plus two x squared plus one equals x squared equals one. Okay, so x must be one. Okay, so uh, so one might uh one might ask uh one might ask that uh, what I'm what I'm talking about right. So in the beginning, if in the beginning, if somebody if if you actually find something uh which x y and uh, which x is not the same as y right, but you can use our process. Uh, you can use our process to keep keep going, keep increasing, uh, keep decreasing x plus y. Right, but finally, you must reach some minimality. Once you reach the minimality, then we prove that in the minimality, then x must equals to y. Otherwise, you can still you can still go you can still decrease, right? But you cannot decrease infinitely because omega is a subset of the natural uh, of the natural number. Okay, so this is the whole proof of the idea. I may hope you guys understand. Okay, see you guys next videos. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks.